Hello everyone. In this session, I will continue to share with you the example using the second approach that is solved in frequency domain. For the RNC circuit in figure beside, solve for the current IT through the model the circuit to IT equal to 3 dIT over dt plus 1 over 2 integrate IT dt equal to ut. Then write the equivalent circuit in S domain. Then solve, the, you are using Laplace transform, given that the I0 equal to V0 equal to 0. In order to solve this question, we need to use the Kirchhoff voltage law, which is we find the voltage drop across the inductor, voltage drop in, across the resistor, and the voltage drop across the capacitor. So this is equivalent to for the in for the cap for the resistor you have the ITR and then for the inductor so you have a L D I T over D T plus with the voltage cross voltage across the capacitor is one over C integration from zero to T I tau D tau equal to the Voltage that is the UT. So we substitute the value of each component R equal to 1, and then the L equal to 3, and then C equal to 2. Then we solve using the Laplace transform. So first of all, we Laplace transform of IT plus 3. 3 is a constant, we take out the 3. And Laplace transform of DIT over DT. Then plus with 1 over 2 is a constant. Then Laplace transform of 0 to T. I tau D tau equal to Laplace transform of UT. So Laplace transform of the IT is equal to IS plus 3. Laplace transform of uh, DIT over DT, we can using the property of the derivative. We obtain the SIS minus I0 plus 1 over 2, and this part we get Is over S equal to Laplace transform on UT. We can get it from the table of Laplace transform. We obtain 1 over S. Next, we substitute the initial condition in which the I0 equals 0. We have the Is okay, plus 3 S Is. So this part this part I will change to 0. So plus with 1 over 2, Is over S equal to 1 over S. And then next step, okay, I we take out the Is, so we left 1 over 3, S plus 1 over 2, S equal to 1 over S. So Is is actually equal to 1 over s divided by 2s. So we make the denominator same as 2s, so we time with 2s, time with uh, 2s also, and then plus with 1 over 2s. So we get 2s plus 6s squared plus 1 divided by 2s. So we can cancel out the s. Okay, we bring the 2 up to the numerator, so we get 2 over 2s plus 6s squared plus 1. Then, inverse, we have the is, so we inverse Laplace transform of the is, we obtain the it. So we inverse Laplace transform of 2 over 2s plus 6s squared plus 1. Or I can rewrite it into 6s squared 
plus 2s plus 1. So easy for factorization later on. So this is 6x squared. We need to factorize it. It would be better if we divide by 6. So the x squared is only 1. When we divide by 6, we obtain uh, 2 over 6 divided by s squared plus 2 over 6s plus 1 over 6. And then we need to factorize it for this part. How to factorize this part? Okay, let's say we have uh, like this. How to get 2 over 6? So s squared is for sure is s multiplied with s, we get x squared. And then for 2 over 6, how to get 2 over 6? Mostly we have 1 over 6 and 1 over 6. So this plus and plus, we get 2 over 6. Okay, let's multiply. What will you get? s squared plus 2 over 6s plus 1 over 36. Okay? This is what we obtain. But if you look at here, this value, we don't, we don't need this one. We only need 1 over 6. Okay? So therefore, we need to cancel out. So this part, we left 1 over 3 divided by s plus 1 over 6 square. Okay, since we don't need this part, this is plus, right? So we need to cancel by minus 1 over 36. And then what we want is 1 over 6 only. So we plus with 1 over 6. Okay, next. So next we can simplify this part. And we get... Okay, here is 1 over 6 square. Okay. 1 my negative 1 over 36 plus with okay this one we time with 6 so we get 36 this one times with 6 plus 5 so negative 1 plus uh, 6 so you get plus 5 over 36 so 1 over 3 is a concern we can take it out S plus 1 over 6 squared, we can change it using the Laplace transform table and then we obtain S1 negative 1 over 6 D. And then inverse Laplace transform 1 over S squared plus 5 over 36. So this one we can get a sin. Okay, sorry, with a sign. With a sign, so I can obtain okay this one for a sign a t is equal to a over s squared plus a squared so this one we need to change the format into this so that we can change to the sign okay so how for sure this numerator we need to have the okay before this we need to change this one into the a squared so this one square root of 5 over 36 Okay, so this part we can get what we can obtain. Okay, that is the uh, inverse Laplace transform of uh, we need square root of 5 over 36. So square root of 36, we get 6. Okay, so this is square root plus uh, s square plus square root of 5 over 6. Okay, like this. This is the format of sine. Okay, but this, bear in mind that this is an extra. We don't need this. We don't want this. This is the, this is the extra value. The value we have is just one. So we need to cancel out this one by dividing it. So one divided by square root of five divided by six. So it's six over square root of five. So therefore, this one we can cancel out. 3, this one left 2. So 2 over square root of 5, exponent negative t over 6, sine square root of 5 over 6t. So this is the i t. So we settle the first question. Now we go to the second question. Second question asks you to write the equivalent circuit in the S domain. So B, we can draw the circuit.
okay so initially the source is ut so we can get it as 1 over s and then uh, for the inductor inductor is l equal to 3 henry we can get it to 3 s 3 i s and the resistor is i s and capacitor is 1 over 2 s i s this is actually you have calculated just now if you go back to the previous question that you solve using a Laplace transform this is where you get for the resistor and then oh no this is for the resistor and then this part is for the inductor and this part is the capacitor and this part is the source that's why I all uh, that's how I obtain and I put it in the circuit that's all for this question thank you